one. Hi, I'm Dave here from the Bulletproof Executive at Wellness FX, and we're talking with their CEO, Jim. We're going to talk about a few different vitamins and supplements and lab values, and how Jim's own data has interacted with them, and we'll talk about some things you can do to be a little bit healthier. Jim, let's start by talking about vitamin D. Wow, great topic. I mean, so much press the last few years, and the uh, idea that the cutoff that for traditional medicine of 30 is probably pretty inadequate, yep. right? And so now you have the phenomena of people blasting themselves five, 10,000 IUs, thinking that it can't hurt you, and mm -hmm. and there's no changes or anything else. And, and yet, you know, recent literature this year really shows that there's probably a different set point for every person. That's definitely been my experience. Uh, I could not get my numbers above about 50, so I started taking more and more and more, and suddenly they popped up to like 125, and I did notice the inflammation from that. Like it, it actually was, you could just feel the difference. So, so what marker do you uh, track on inflammation for that? I mean, I have my own pet marker, but... I, you know, I, I wasn't using a marker there because I did that between tests. Ah, okay. So that's one of the reasons that I like the model at Wellness FX of doing it every six months, because I typically do it annually just because it, it's been a pain to date in order to get all the data. So I could tell it just in how I felt, how I responded to it, other uh -huh. inflammatory things. I know because I'm a biohacker and I have a cultivated self-awareness, I, I can tell if I eat this and I know I'm allergic to it, I get this much inflammation, but all of a sudden like it knocks me over. I'm like, well, something else is, is tweaking my normal responsiveness and I'm certain it was vitamin D in my case. But you have the data. So let's show, sh let's talk about like how the wellness effects data showed you that your vitamin D levels were too low or too high. Yeah, so the, the thing that um, vitamin D, it, it's starting to be really considered as a super hormone yeah. in, in effect almost. And if you take vitamin D without fish oil, you may sit there or any kind of oil, you may wonder, um, why is this not working? Uh, but the other thing I noted um, is I really work myself hard athletically. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm a ranked CrossFit athlete and I'm 50, so I'm just kind of always, you know, math, you know, 50 year olds don't recover as well. Yeah. So you're always kind of hitting that edge between being trained, overtrained, and injured. And mm -hmm. so for me, I noticed my athletic performance went way up. My recovery is great. I had this kind of dual tandem of uh, fish oil, vitamin D, but internally I kind of really want to fine-tune it so a really good way to proxy it is what you're trying to discover is is kind of we were talking about that u-shaped curve before. right right let's try it so you have say these levels and so as your uh, supplement of vitamin D goes up here you uh, notice that uh, inflammation drops and so then as it drops 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 your vitamin D keeps going up uh, and then as vitamin D keeps going up though, then your inflammation starts going up. And so the risk that you're counterbalancing with vitamin D is cardiovascular risk. Uh, there's some degree of cancer uh, prevention that's also associated with this and just in general inflammation. So what you really want to do is find your set point. Yep. You know, and so what we used is, so if you have vitamin D here, uh, let's use the good old fashioned CRP, you know, marker of inflammation. So, uh, you know, I start out my vitamin D levels are in the 39 to 44 range here. And my CRP, so my CRP up here um, was, uh, let me do this better, CRP uh, basically... You want a different color here, just CRP yeah. and black. I tell you, used to design uh, user experiences, right? <laughs> So CRP was in the 0.92 to 0.96, and just for reference, this is still considered green, mm -hmm. but I'm really close to being into the, the yellow. Yeah, right on the cusp of being yeah. a little too inflamed. And yeah. given, given your age and the, you, what you're doing in terms of CrossFit and, and just you know, the intense workouts, you don't want to be even close to the edge. You want to be right in, right. in the middle of so the green zone. So let's get deeper green. Yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah. So, so then the vitamin D starts kicking up, and CRP is going down. So I got to you know the kind of the 40s, the, about 0.48 here, uh, as I hit uh, right around uh, 47 to uh, you know low 50s with my vitamin D uh, measures, and I'm taking these tests in tandem. So the next thing that happens is I went, wow, that's pretty good. I'm gonna up 
vitamin D to about 10,000 uh, units. And my next test, I'm at 63, and you know what? My CRP is actually higher than over here. I crested into yellow territory, I hit one. Mm -hmm. So then, I actually backed it off, and my next CRP test came back in as 0.61. So really, my sweet spot is seen to be a vitamin D measure in the 40s, 50s. If I start getting into 60s, uh, I'm back in the inflammatory area. Mm -hmm. So I can really moderate that by thinking three to 5,000 I use of vitamin D, uh, my regular fish oil to make sure it's activated, and I'm good. So, so it's kind of interesting. You've got really good data about the, the fact that, that everyone responds differently to vitamin D. And I mean, I've talked uh, with Dr. Cannell and had him speak at uh, the Silicon Valley Health Institute, the nonprofit anti-aging group that I run. And Dr. Kennel is maybe one of the most outspoken uh, fans of vitamin D with some good data. Uh, but he also says, in fact, one of the first things that he did when he started was, was you need to get tested, you need to get tested. This is one of those tests that if you're only going to get one thing tested, maybe this would be the one. And there are many other you know, general information It's things. such a fantastic canary in the coal there. mine, yeah. right? I mean, you can see inflammatory effect, mm -hmm. but you know if you're inflammation up, generally you need to go over and kind of poke around and right. cardiovascular, right? Because mm -hmm. that's systemic infl inflammation going on there. So yeah, it, it's uh, such a fantastic thing to start with. The other people who benefit really enormously from vitamin D, and, and I cover a lot of this in my book that comes out in December, the Better Baby book, it's pregnancy. So for fertility and pregnancy and just general health, if you're a woman and your vitamin D levels are off, you're very likely to have a harder time conceiving and to have a less healthy baby. Given that vitamin D is pennies per day to dose, it's one of the cheapest supplements Absolutely. that I can imagine with the most effectiveness, and that's why it's vitamin top Vitamin D ranks. and oil, I mean, yeah. there's no reason not, and just knowing your set point is the most important thing. And, it's, and you know, it's actually really interesting. So we've tested hundreds of people now in the past year, that is the number one thing that comes out is vitamin D levels are uh, incredibly deficient, sub 30s, mm -hmm. and we've seen them down in the in the single digits on some people. And you'll immediately notice the inflammatory markers are up, the cardiovascular, and also some thyroid actually. So it's yeah. interesting if you just really kick that one hard, and even maybe not do anything else on your first round, then you can kind of see, all right, wow. So vitamin D is this pervasive. Yeah. It, it has this cascade effect through your biology, and so it's a really interesting effect. And having too much can give you headaches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it can give you light sensitivity. It can just like, like make you inflamed in general. So there's no better test and better supplement to match up in my book anyway. Yeah, and then you think uh, blasting in how we live now, right? We're artificial light, offices, lots of clothes on, sunscreen. Uh, yep. We're not running around in the hunt with a spear all day long. Yeah, with, uh, my, my loincloth is at the cleaner so Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, I, and, and the same way. I, you know, <laughs> it doesn't look good when you come to work with blood on your hands. <laughs> <laughs> exactly.